Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, one of the uh, tools uh, by OWASP, which is an open source uh, called ZAP. It's a ZAP attack proxy, which is similar to Bob Suede. Uh, but before we begin, I hope everyone is doing safe out there and uh, uh, just try to fight this coronavirus. I know it's affecting a lot of people's lives and everything, uh, but uh, I guess. You can take benefit of this particular situation by if you are just sitting home, I would say highly recommend practice as much as you can this uh whatever we have learned so far in this uh videos like you know uh, in the past few months, and also I don't see any uh, any major decline or anticipate any major decline in the job market for the cyber security to be honest like once the the coronavirus of course it's gonna go uh, sooner or later uh, and will have a tremendous amount of requirements for the cyber security professionals so uh keep up the good work and 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 uh, stay stay safe out there all right so let's start uh, with the uh, WhatsApp. Um, so this is an open source proxy, uh, which is, uh, as I said, like, you know, it's uh, it's similar to Burp Suite, uh, which uh, you guys must have seen or used at some point of time, and we have also talked about it in the previous videos. Uh, the fact is it's an open source, so, like, you know, the Burp, you have to pay for the scanning and, and some other features. While this is complete open source, so you can use all the features for free. Uh, so this is largely, uh, like you know, a really really good product for uh, someone uh, like uh, individual security professional who would like to perform like you know pen tests and some some uh, trainings or uh, you want to do some uh, learning by yourself. You can surely use this proxy. And even I have seen like you know some uh, corporate level where they do not have enough security budget they they also use uh, this proxy so and and i have heard like you know good reviews i had used it uh, several times as well so i i thought maybe let me let me just uh, give you guys a brief intro on what i think and how it works uh there is also an automation uh, capability with the proxy so for example if you want to scan certain site or application you can certainly automate using the scripts uh, if you go to their uh, page, like on the OWASP, you get all the instructions how you can automate it. And just as the what the Burp has offered, like you know, add-ons, uh, Zap also has a marketplace. So various developers have put in like you know various add-ons, which you can download and enhance the capability of the Zap. Now let's uh, I'll, I'll show you first a little demo on how Zap works and and, and so, like you know the I guess. Will not go in much detail, but I'll, I'll definitely show you some important features about that, and then we'll also compare a little bit about the Burp versus Evan, what my opinion is. So, uh, let me switch. So here is the uh, page where you can download the proxy, and as you can see, there is a quick start guide. So if you click on here, you will see like you know how you can automate with the zap and there is also an introductory video uh, video series on what the zap is and then there is a marketplace as well now uh, i'm in using the kali linux so uh, it came by default uh, like by default installed with the kali linux but if you are using any other operating system you may have to or you are not using kali you may have to install this uh, uh, like you know, uh, from the scratch, uh, which is not very difficult. It's pretty straightforward. So uh, first of all, just like how you want to use the burp, you know, we used to install the SSL certificate because if you want to capture any traffic, so this is a proxy just as burp did. So if you want to capture any traffic which is SSL enabled, you have to have the SSL certificate installed. So how you can do that is very simple. You just go here tools, go to the app options, you go to dynamic certificate, you save. As you can see, I already have it saved here, so I'm not going to do that again. And then you go to your browser, you go to the uh, preferences, and then go privacy and security, scroll all the way down, you go to view certificate, and then import the certificate, right? That's pretty straightforward. So. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. But this is for the Firefox, and, and you can uh, Google it, like the instructions for the other browser. But it's very straightforward, just similar to how you do it in the Burp Suite. 
So that's one of the thing. Uh, the other thing is uh, the other cool feature that I like about uh, Zap is the active scanner, right? So active scanner was is not by default or free in the bar free edition, but here you can get it. Uh, you can do it. So, you, uh, so it's very straightforward. And also the authentication capability uh, in Zap has improved from from like you know the beginning when I was use I was using it like five six years ago. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is you want to persist the session, so it's like a safe session. Uh, so you want to come back and then later after you, uh, after you finish some part of your work, you can save it so you can uh, import the session and then resume your work. Now, how how does the active scanning work? It's pretty straightforward. So let's say, uh, of course, you uh, set up the proxy. Once you set up, it's very straightforward again. I'm not gonna bore you with that. But you just go to the general, I guess. Yeah, go to the network proxy. You put in uh, manual proxy 127.0.0.1.80.80. You hit OK. Then if you are connected, uh, if you refresh this page, uh, OK, I guess I'm connected. That's what it seems. We'll, we'll make sure uh, I'm connected or not. So this is the uh, recording. So let's say uh, I have put in the request or breakpoint here. As soon as I refresh the page, as you can see, this is moving. I can see the request being captured here. Uh, here, this is the way you forward the request, or like what we have in the verb, you forward and uh, submit. So this is what it's gonna forward and then give you the response, right? So it, it's similar to Burst with just a uh, uh, tools and the uh, and the UI is a bit different. Okay, so that's one of the thing. Now, other thing is, let's say you wanna scan a site, right? And you want to do the authenticated scan. That's what we do most of the time. So how we're gonna do this is pretty simple. So let's say, uh, do we have? Okay, we do not. Okay, let me just okay forward everything so let's say we want to uh, scan this demo to test file.net so what we need to do is so uh, let's right click go to the include context and go to default context then go to the authentication uh, we have form based authentication so you're gonna select the login.gsp which is the login page uh then we need to add users here so here i'm gonna add the username is admin and password is admin as well uh okay enable uh, so those are enable i'm gonna hit okay uh but let me just make sure one more time yep user is in here uh, authentication Okay, I don't think so. Okay, it's gonna replace by default. Uh, by yeah, whenever we scan. So next, you're gonna uh, right-click attack and hit the active scan. You can change some configuration like input parameters, custom vectors. I'm not gonna go in much detail in here because this is straightforward. And just start scan. Now, as you can see, I uh, here it started uh, like you know going through all the requests, and you can actually see the payloads as here as well here as you can see and the output so whatever the can uh, vulnerabilities that it would find it, it's gonna uh, give you all the vulnerabilities here so that's like you know that's how you and of course you can see all the request response of the vulnerability with the highlight so that's straightforward now let's say if you want to generate the report uh, so here's the report tab you can generate different types of report Let's say I just did test.html, and then you will see the actual report here. Uh, the report is pretty uh, decent. It's not that fancy with the graphs and everything, but you still have like high, medium, and everything. And here you can also see the details what the medium metropolis is, right? So that's that's a uh, I guess decent way for the free tool to uh, give you the report. So I would uh, definitely recommend to. Uh, use and, and try this tool for sure. 
The other thing uh, we talked about the extension. So you see this little uh, three boxes. So if you click that, here you're gonna see all the add-ons. Uh, so this is the marketplace. Uh, there is also release versus beta alpha. You can see the status here. There is S clean injection scanner. And th th there are quite a quite a few like you know uh, good add-ons that I I see in here and I have also used I think the SQL injection scanner is something that I have used the other one that I have used is the port scanner uh, so that's like if you do not want to use leverage the nmap which is another tool for natural scanning then you can also use this add-on to uh, kind of do that then uh, directory list which is also a good one first DB files that's also a good one so there are yeah uh, you can enhance the capability by installing and uh, yeah, the installation is simple. You just select whatever you want to install and then install selected, right? So that, that's straightforward. So this is, uh, and all the other options that you can, uh, you might want to change or, uh, I, I would say like, you know, uh, just spend two hours or something and you will be able to learn this tool fairly quickly and easily. So all the options are in here. Okay. So let's go back to our uh, presentation. Now the last thing is burp versus uh, what, uh, what do I think? Now in my past 12, 13 years of uh, InfoSec career, I have used burp a lot. Uh, I have used zap a little bit. But whatever I have used, the one thing I have noticed is scan feature of burp is much more efficient. Uh, that doesn't mean Zap is not that efficient, but uh, I just feel like Burp has, uh, it's easier, of course, you have to pay for it, but then it also finds stuff uh, which is very difficult to find by Zap. And uh, since it's an open source, uh, you don't get a signature or added, like, you know, new bugs every now and then. The other thing is Intruder tab. Uh, intruder feature of the Burp is uh, better than Zap. So, so there are few features here, and like encode decode. You can also find Zap, uh, which is in Burp as well, which is similar. And then it comes down to individual preference, right? Uh, the reason I, I have stuck with the Burp suite is because most of the industry is using the Burp. Like, if I go anywhere, the people are familiar with the Burp suite, and I have the session file, and I can just forward it to someone, and they can import and, and do their work. Uh, they can look at what work I have done so far and everything. So that's the reason I have st st stuck with the burp. But again, if uh, if I'm doing like you know some sort of learning by myself or and I do not cannot afford to buy the license, then I would definitely consider Zap. It's 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 a pretty decent tool for the stuff that it allows you to do. And uh, and on top of that, the automation uh, feature that it provides is it's amazing. So uh, that's something I would highly recommend everyone to try. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope uh, you take this uh, free time, like, you know, learning about this new stuff, new uh, uh, vulnerabilities. And I try to learn a new vulnerability uh, once every week. So that's what I would I would advise you guys, like, if you can do that as well. Uh, also, let me know if you are looking, for, if you are stuck anywhere, if you are looking for any other guidance or, uh, or if you are looking me to help you in any other particular uh, vulnerability or anything you want, want me to explore, I'll try and fit in my schedule. But that's it for now. Uh, uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe and uh, I have in the description all the links to download the app and, and other uh, whatever useful links I have found. So uh, feel free to check it out and uh, stay safe and I'll see you guys next week.